Well, hello again from Kingston. It's another week and this week saw the arrival of the last concrete girders. That doesn't mean that things are done. It just means we've entered a new phase. Let's go and see. If there's one thing that stands out this week, it must surely be the delivery of the last concrete girders to complete the main bridge structure. We'll look at that installation in due course, but it really marks the beginning of a new phase. No more enormous objects remain to be delivered, but an enormous amount of effort is required before the bridge will be open for use. Much of that work involves creating the roadway both on top of the bridge itself and in the approaches to and departure from it. A great deal of work continues to lay the utility lines and pipes that will lie beneath the roadway. This week more new water mains and a fire hydrant were commissioned. Installation inevitably involves considerable amounts of excavation in very rocky terrain. Excavated spoil is often removed to a holding area and gravel can be delivered in the same way, only to require removal for installation when work is ready. Pressure testing of the new water main early in the week with Utilities Kingston led to excavation on Friday the connection of the final piping and testing by Utilities Kingston of the hydrant itself. All resulting, very satisfactorily, in commission. Of course, there remains a great deal of work to be done. The steady stream of deliveries, concrete vaults and pipes illustrate this very well. There was considerable evidence of progress this week on the West End too. With the Gomaco machine making a run on Thursday, another delivery of reinforcing rod, and continued progress with the placement of the initial concrete slabs. The Gomaco machine does a great job, but there's no question that for detailed final work, human beings have the edge. In a similar way, although the cranes do a great job of lifting reinforcing rod, at the end of the day, it's humans who generally move it around. And it's not light. These iron workers from ABF are something special. Further west along the bridge, excavation is again underway around Pier 16. All part of the work that will continue for some time and result eventually in the complete removal of the temporary causeway. Before we get to those final concrete girders, let's remember they were the second delivery of girders this week. On Monday afternoon, girders 91 to 93 followed the familiar route. Next morning, now lifting for the first time from a position ashore, they started on an unfamiliar slope. But that didn't appear to present any real challenge at all. The only possible frustration arose when the DCAST team suffered what you could call a wedgie. That aside, it was a bit of a walk in the park, with Gerda 93 easing accurately into place at either end by 10.30. Next morning, braces for the girders were already being lifted into place. The same day, the final two concrete girders arrived. With very little delay, they made their way across the causeway to the east end. There was an opportunity for team members to sign the girder, including the construction manager seen here. Thursday morning, brought a detailed briefing 
and a wave for the peanut gallery. Then it was all about hooks on to number 94. And we're off to the races. These last girders have seen the cranes placed in an unaccustomed position, but it didn't seem to present any difficulties. There's some human interest here too. The two operators are uncle and nephew from a strong family of crane operators. It didn't take too long for girder number 94 to be precisely positioned. Then it was time to bring on the big one number 95. There was the usual unshackling, hooking on, at both ends, with everything ready to go and a well-practiced crew, it was no time at all before Girder 95 was in the air and then on its rests. But we haven't seen the last of the decast drivers. On Friday morning, the first of the concrete slabs that will top the steel structure arrived. And there'll be many more. Some delivered by familiar faces. Before we close with some wildlife, let's have a look at that completed bridge. I think it's safe to say, the boys and girls done good. Well, that's another week in the bag. Thanks for watching. And I've got a favor to ask of you. I meet a lot of people who say they haven't seen these videos. So if you've got friends who are interested in the crossing and they haven't seen them, please tip them off to the channel. Thank you.